presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 276, Nasdaq's off 404, S&P's off 70, gold contract up $23.70, trading at 1786 an ounce. We got silver up 16 cents, $22.44 an ounce, light sweet crude off 50 cents, $65.98 a barrel, notes and bonds. Look at this move, man. You get the 10-year up 27 ticks, trading 131.14. The 30-year up a full point, plus 25 ticks at 164.04 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 19 ticks, trading 96, 137. Euro is at 113. The yen is at 112.5. And, and the British pound is at 132 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we take a look at this spy. What you're going to have out here, you're down $7.5. You're taking a B point out. You're taking it out with volume. Bottom line, this wants lower price. Uh, we get, uh, let's see. So on Wednesday, we had volume out here of, uh, oh, well, hold on, let's see. No, this is cool, actually. The, let's see. No, that actually, yeah. So the S and P is not taking it out with volume. Okay, so you're you're inside the range. Well, you're down at seven half dollars. You're inside the range. Wednesday, what we did out here, folks, is that we did 132 million shares. Today, we did 197. I mean, 97. So bottom line is that you're inside of the lower range. Once we got back inside 454, it puts you in the lower range. That puts game on to October 4th. That's how that baby's shaking out. October 4th, inside the spy is 426. Inside the NDX 100, you got that 350. And 350 seemed like a long way down yesterday. But guess what? It just is down 10 and a half points today. Uh, you're inside the lower range. The lower range started at 382. You're 379. And uh, bottom line is that uh, that's what it was. The, the Qs are in an ABC structure on the way down. The Qs have taken out the Wednesday low of 386. You need a volume of 78 million. We've already got 83 million. So the Qs, the ABC structure in the Qs goes, let's see, 408. You got uh, 408 to 386, basically. Oh, well, we can actually 408, 384. So you get 16 and H, 24. And that's going to bring you at about uh, 92, 82, 72. 82, 72, 68. That's 368. And this 350 is hanging out like a sore thumb, big time. I suspect that's where we're going. Gold. Gold contract is now, this is going to get really wild, man, because this is the, uh, this is, gold has been trading differently, there's no doubt, for about three or four weeks now. And what, it, what it's been is this it has not caught a bid, in fact, went down the last 10 days when the market's been shaky and the bottom line is that yeah you get a sell-off happening but you do not have that inside the gold nor the gold equities in fact they want to go up this move today in the gold market is really a sweet move we've hit 1766 and rejected it you're at 1786 and i like how it's got above yesterday's low 
It got into the low that was trading out here a week ago Friday. That number was the 1784 number. So that's saying, guess what? We're going back topside once again. The note and bond market. Now, this is phenomenal, man. This is actually unbelievable. Um, the 10-year note, okay, is up 27 ticks, 1.7 million contracts. Okay, so now the 10 the 10 year just took out its consolidation. So you take the top of that, which is 130, 105. We take the bottom, which is 128. Let's call it 129. I, I got to make up nine ticks there. Once, okay, 129, 131. That's the easy one to do it. That's 133, and then uh, 133, 14. So the 10 year right now, folks, is going to make a run to 133, 14. That's three more points. The 30 year here, and we are. Right now, we're yielding – look at that, man. That's hard to comprehend. <laughs> it, it's not hard to comprehend as to where we've been, folks. It is comp hard to comprehend. We just went from 1.7% in the last 90 days to 1.28%. No, 1.34. Sorry, 1.34. That's a move and a half, man. The 30-year, we take a look at the 30-year bond, USG. Okay, USG1. No, USH1. There we go. USH1. Okay, so the 30-year is up almost two points. Oh, this is going to blow away highs. This is crazy. Yeah. So the 30-year, let's look at this. This is going to be like <laughs> lending money for 30 years at, let's see. Here we go. So there you go. So look at this. 30-year Treasury right now is 1.67%. So you can lend the government, you know, 100 grand, 10 grand, whatever you're going to do with the, with the bond, okay? Bottom line, you're going to get 1.67% for 30 years. Pretty amazing, actually. King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar out here? King Dollar still basically having a tough time getting any traction. It looks to me like King Dollar is building cars, folks, to get into the lower range. First, it's going to... I suspect we'll, we'll see if this holds the top of the range. The top of the range in King Dollar is 94.561. So we're at 96.14 right now. So that's that's a penny and a half above it because it had broken out. It broke out on the November 10th, and we're still quite above it. That That's the bottom line. It's just having a tough time uh, right now with any type of price. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, you got uh, this DocuSign is getting just smoked. You got, uh, let's see, we got Ford down 86 cents. You got Lucid off a buck 90. DocuSign, we're going to go back to that. That's down $100. $100. It's trading 133. That was just, unfortunately, a smoker. Uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA's down $17.5 at 303. You got uh, Uber Technologies off 263. Um, what else out there? Microsoft. Oh, look at Microsoft. Finally, down nine bucks. You gotta figure that Tell is sold out. Why would you buy it? If the CEO is selling out. You know, half the shares. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials right now down two ninety one. The Nasdaq off four seventeen. S and P's off seventy three. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 301. You get the NASDAQ off 420. S&Ps are off 74. Let's go to our man, Jose, in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey there, Tom. Tom, when do you get back to Quaint Village of Studio? It looks horrible there. Palm trees swaying in the background. Get out of there. It's rough, totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow morning. I'm, tomorrow morning is it. Tomorrow morning I'm back. Yeah. Wow. Hey, um, I missed the opening of your show uh we got more downside with this ugliness or uh because i'm i'm filling my santa bag with cdns cadence design when this ugliness okay. uh finishes and it's smart what, what jose is saying folks this is what you should be doing it, you should be looking at equities that you like mark them down and it just it's going to be a waiting game here um my take uh, jose is that we got an abc structure down on nice. those Q's to 350. um you know, right nice. now we're trading 379. So, yeah, I mean, that, and that's what you're doing. That's the way to do this because what happens, folks, is this. It's going to be very hard to buy on a correction. If you do it first, what I've found is that you get – you'll pull the switch quicker because the bottom line is that you got to remember something. Like you, you were – we were all up at these highs – and we thought everything was all right, and everything was all right until you go down. <laughs> so yeah. if you thought something was good at $100, well, it's great at $80. That's the, that's right. the bottom line. Yeah, you know. Right. Uh, plus, they make the money hand over fist. So, uh, Tom, I got a real estate. Put your real estate cap on. I got a quest, serious question. Um, yeah. You know how build, you find a small independent builder in your, ta in your town, in your county, they hate to travel, gas 350 a gallon. That's right, So you're, yeah. stuck, with, you're stuck with builders if you, if you find land outside of the, in a different county. So Hernando right. County, low impact fees, not Pasco County where they're ridiculous. So, okay. Uh, you got two builders. You yeah. got one that says, gives you a quote, cost plus 15%. But the other builder yeah. says 105 a square foot. Which one do you go with? I don't think 15% is enough money. So what happens is this, is that, so I don't build for anyone else, okay? But what I work on is I work on cost plus 24% just internally. So the companies always make money, right? And what happens is that that's still a tight spread. And I'm talking about real costs, not, you know, like you make a cost and you mark up the cost. You mean you mark up the whether the windows, then you put, you know, the 13 or 15 percent on top of it. Um, it I, I think a 15 percent, it's pretty hard to make money in this business, you know, because you get workman's compensation. 
you know, you get insurance. Um, it's it's a that's a close call, man. I think, uh, yeah, I two different things end up happening, is that you got to figure out where he's getting his supplies or she's getting her supplies, and do they have a good deal? You see what I'm saying? Because I can tell you here, this this is how bizarre, folks. The the construction business is. Picture, I I build a lot of houses. I'm building six of them right now, and. What ends up happening, windows are one of the most expensive things there are, right? And it took me over two years to get the window pricing down. But yet the windows right now, now these are hurricane windows in Florida, but a normal, just a double hung window ends up costing almost 530 bucks a piece. Um, you know, so what you'd want to know, Jose, off the guy that um, is giving you the cost plus is that what are the prices first? You see what I'm saying? So you know what you're going to be the cost plus on. Right. And then, that was my next question. Shouldn't I ask for a some kind of price itemization spreadsheet that uh yes, gonna do? Yeah, because what will end up happening, like I, I know exactly what everything costs me. It's on it's on a spreadsheet, it's on an Excel spreadsheet, okay? And he should have the same thing. Because this is these are the biggest costs in the house. The biggest cost is go, your, your foundation, if he's doing block, okay, the foundation's gonna be the biggest cost. Then it's gonna be the windows, then it's going to be uh, after that, it's it's kind of spread out because the the foundations run like let, let's say a nineteen hundred square foot house is going to run about seventy eighty thousand okay for the foundation all block right the windows are going to run another mm, almost forty five thousand um, the roof is normally you know twelve to thirteen thousand that's a new roof folks okay what happens if you think that's inexpensive and, and it's not that bad because what happens with a new roof is that as we're building it, we already got the plywood on and everything else, so the roofer just comes out, lays the tiles, and and that's well, it. So it's a, it's I mean, easier they, than they a new one. They come in trust packages, right? They do. They do. Yeah. Exactly. So Tom, the builder is in Tampa. OSSI Construction. Don't know if you've heard of them, but I'm a little wary. Um, as far as doing a survey on land, um, um, I know you do a boundary survey. But right. You don't have to do an elevation survey, right? Or is that only in flood zones? In flood zones, you would have to, and that's it. Yeah, you do the boundary, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And I got you. And then just had call a couple of people they've dealt with, man. Do you know what I mean? Before you give them some money, and then what they're gonna want, they're gonna want to stay ahead of you, which which is normal. Do you know what I'm saying? But that's what I do. So. Well, it's gonna be a simple draw, right? That's what I did last time. Well, I have that's a couple correct. Homes, so. That that's correct. Yes. Right. Yeah. All right, good deal. Okay, man. Morning. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. And what has happened, folks, is that the you know the, the, the price of things have gone up dramatically. There's no two ways about it. I've been talking about it. It's 23 to 30% is across the board, man. I mean across the board. I'm particularly lucky with my block guy. Uh, cement actually hasn't gone up. I, maybe I paid out of... I bet it's the the most seven to eight nine percent something like that, um, so it's not that bad. But um, it's it's going to get intriguing here. What's really intriguing right now is this interest rate structure. You can see what happens. The Fed is going to have a very tough time going up on rates. And my take is this: it's almost going up on rates foreseeable in the future. It, it's going to happen. It has to happen. Well, I don't know. If it's going to. It seems like it has to happen every time. You know, when when you take a look at it. Fundamentally, it seems like it has to happen. But what you'd have, just like a day like today, you can see how fast notes and bonds go up. There's a question inside the Den about the aspect is that when the uh, so when the government has been buying these low security mortgage rate backed securities, if the rates rise, what impact will it have on them? Well, that won't. Okay, this is a great question. So what happens when the Fed is buying all the mortgage backed securities? They always make money because the way that that gets done, you buy it and they just hold it right to the very end. They make the money. They know exactly what they're making. That's a very riskless trade. That's the bottom line. I mean, in in a big way. The um, let's go. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you? How are you? Still, I wish I was I'm, down in Florida. I got my grandchild down here, Frank. I'm having a blast, man. I yeah, mean, it's insane. Yeah. I got him swimming. He's 10 months old yesterday. He's really? almost there. Wow. He's going to be swimming, man. <laughs> He's going to be a little fish. I know. I love it. <laughs> it looks like you're outside now. I am. I'm out, I'm out in the deck. I got the Atlantic right behind me here. Yes. Nice. It's just a good place to do it. I know. What can wow. you do? Yeah, terrific. Looks warm. 
It's oh, it's beautiful. Hey, it's uh, okay. So uh, LTHM, I'm at, right? Uh, LTHM, a lithium yep. stock. Let's take a look. So the low is 14, the high is 33. This is lithium for batteries in a big way. So we take a yep. look at this. It's come down to the breakout level. Yeah. And I'm looking at today's volume versus the volume of the swing highs that sort of line up with that breakout level. They do. Here, August just stay with you September. one second. We have a quick break. We're coming right back. Stay right there, folks. Uh, Frank and I come right back. We're going to be talking lithium. We're talking about uh, basically electric batteries. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down a buck ninety. Nasdaq's off three eighty. S and P's are off sixty two. We're talking with our man Frank, and we are talking lithium, folks. And the symbol is L T H M. Uh, you know what's cool here, Frank? Right? I, I would wait just a little bit longer. Um, if we put this on a weekly, right, what you're going to see here is this, is that we just came to the top of the breakout area. And yeah. where, where I'm going with this, Frank, is this, okay, is that I suspect this market wants to go a little bit lower. So you can see when we broke out the week of the uh, August 13th there, the, the bottom is yeah. 20, 2137, the top's 2727. The way yeah. – I suspect it's going to go to the bottom of that. And the reason I'm saying that, not this individually, mm. Frank, is that the aspect that, it, you know, it looks to me like we're going to come back down a little, you know. 
Um, and oh. that'd be a decent that'd be a decent uh, setup, man. I mean, uh, what you okay. don't have these are the ones you got to watch out for, though. Can you see that? Like, see at the highs, we don't have volume. That's always yeah. like okay. You can you know it's like what do you aim for once you get into it? That's that's you know that that's well hey let's bring it back for I just want to see if this has been to a higher price because that's kind of a that's a concern also. That's new. I see. Okay, so let me just see this. Okay, so this right now. Well, oh, this is good, man. They make money. That's good. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, so they plan on taking 106 million in and bringing 6 cents to the bottom line. Yeah. I I I try to get it right at the breakout area like you were basically talking about. Do you know what I'm saying? I I see exactly okay, the same. Okay, got at 24 it, it, or somewhere in there, huh? 22 even, 24. Yes. I know. I know that sounds, you know, you're 27. It's like, okay, you know, yeah. and what it did do, I mean, it, it this week, what it did do is this. It went to the 20, uh, well, it went under 27.25. So we went to yeah. 26.51, and we did reject lower price at that, I mean, higher price at that. And I know I do that a lot. Trust you, you know that. I mean, what it did, folks, is this. Here's the breakout area. Went to the top of the breakout area, rejected the lower price. But as I said to you, Frank, and what I'm saying, folks, is that when you, you're in a correction, it makes a lot more sense to be even more patient because it's like, okay, man, this thing wants to go lower. And, you know, you've been doing this long enough, you know, that when it, it's hard to comprehend how fast the NASDAQ stocks can go down, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it seems like they yeah. never can go down. And then all of a sudden when they go down, man, it's like, you got to be kidding me. You just lost that much in this space of time, you know, so. Yeah. But right there, you'd be in good shape, man. And, you know, I was just reading okay. this article. This this cobalt deal, man, this cobalt is totally where it's at. I mean, we're going to be oh, yeah. hearing a lot more. Yeah, I can I can see that, man, no doubt. So. We'll have to see who mines cobalt. Uh, exactly. Exactly. And right now, most of them are in Arsenal miners. And Arsenal miners, folks, are just individuals. If we all lived in the um, Congo, uh, bottom line, would be out there, you know, getting bags of cobalt at 175 bucks a bag. And I, <laughs> I don't know how much it's worth, but they're selling it at 175. Trust me, I almost feel like getting on the plane, man. <laughs> 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 that, 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 you know, no, right. that, I think this, this was either in the, the Wall Street Journal or the. Uh, New York Times the last couple of days. There's a great there's a great article on it, man. That you know uh, these tin shacks are set up. People are out there mining it. Uh, the bottom line is that you know they're, they're trying to get it organized because there's so much money in it. And the Congo has, I think it said that the Congo had three quarters of the cobalt on the earth. So it's it's one of these deals. If they could get it together and not be so corrupt, and you know, <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll see how that luck works. With that. Yeah, I know <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Okay, thank have you. a great one. Thanks, Frank. Have a safe sure. one. Appreciate Bye. it. So let's go to DocuSign. Um, this this baby got hit in a monster way, folks. Okay, and you know, we take a look at this. It's down a hundred bucks. We. There we go. Okay, so let's bring this back. And something that you want to understand on the the context of um, this this was an equity, you know, that bottom line just continued higher, higher, higher. Had no volume. Now you get a total breakdown. So when you get a total breakdown, folks, okay, I suspect this equity is going to you know run to ninety dollars, eighty five dollars pretty quick. Now what you had is this. This is where the the aspect and this this is where it comes into play also meaning that the changes that are taking place and have taken place are pretty dramatic. And one of the largest changes is exactly us signing electronically, okay? Well, what has happened here is this. DocuSign actually has a huge amount of competition. Now, they're still growing, okay? The bottom line is we go back five years, they only took in $381 million. This year, they took in $1.5 billion. They look to take in $2.1 billion next year. That being said, the bottom line is that the competition that they have is huge. Because I can just give you an idea. If we talk real estate for a second, right? So everything's signed electronically now. There's no doubt about it. It's awesome. That being said, on the brokerage side that we have, right, we use this called F-Files. Well, F-Files, folks, okay, the bottom line only cost us $30 a month. 
and it's all electronic signatures. My attorneys use them. I use them. Real estate agents use them, and we're not using. They're not using DocuSign. Okay, so that's probably what you're seeing in the context. Okay, of you know, you don't have to use DocuSign <laughs> to basically sign documents, and there's a lot less expensive ways of doing it, and many people are doing it a less expensive way. I mean, I used to use DocuSign I don't know, three, four, five years ago, uh, but bottom line is that if you get something, next time you get something from an attorney uh, or something else, take a look at it, okay, and you will see what I'm talking about as to, as to the aspect of um, what company is basically being used, um, and you'll see how that baby shakes out. Okay, now let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's taking the big hit here, uh, as the market is. 49,000 is the next number on Bitcoin. Uh, we just broke the swing today. You know, this thing is down from 60, what, 68,000, you did 52. Your swing out here was 53. Now, if you, if you want to understand like what we were doing the last three or four weeks, that's building cars. Building cars is a monster deal, folks. Now you're back inside the lower range. Once you're in the lower range, 52,921 is the lower range. That sets up 39,000. 39,000. That's intense. I was hitting 49,000 first, but 39,000. 39,000 is the number next. That's pretty intense. 39,000. The high was 68,000. And we'll see whether 39,000 can hold. You just step stare it on the way down. Uh, you know, we'll basically see uh, how this baby shakes out, but there's going to be hits everywhere. Um, the intriguing thing, there's no doubt, let's go to the XAU and the HUI, is that we absolutely do have, and th this is where inflation's in play in a big way. Listen, I I've been doing the gold report now for 21 years, and I've never seen, I don't think we've ever seen the market take a hit without the gold stocks taking a hit, except now. How's that? And, uh, you know, right from the get-go out here today, there's a couple of these that have held their own and they were up. Um, you know, I suspect over the weekend that they'll end up saying that quite a bit. Even the XAU is up 17 cents. And this is with the two dogs of the XAU and the HUI inside of the gold market, meaning that you have uh, Newmont as well as... Uh, Gold, uh, not Gold Corp, uh, Barrick. Okay, they're the two weakest uh, uh, gold mining stocks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome, folks. You have the uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 228. We get the Nasdaq off 392. S to P's off 65. And this is a pretty, pretty cool question, folks. Okay, so we got a question in the den. What it is is this, Tom? Uh, what do you attribute the uh, misalignment between gold stocks and gold? Which of the two is trustworthy in uh, telling the direction of gold? Well, th this this happens a lot. No, okay. The part that I'm going to answer right now, I'm going to answer all of it. But this part happens a lot, meaning that for some reason, if you're not in the gold stocks, folks, you know, you could look at the gold market and say, okay, the gold's not up and the stocks aren't up. The stocks are up dramatically. Okay? I'm going to just show you a couple just so you can see the dramatic. I mean, they're up over 50% in like three and a half weeks, four weeks, okay? Like Anglo Ashante just went from $14 to 20 okay? GFI, these, these are up. They're they're up and they're they're going like yeah can they go more yeah but you know if, if it's up fifty percent you know that's like Amazon you know going from three thousand to four thousand five hundred you know you get uh, JFI uh, seven seventy five to eleven dollars so so they're up um, where but I understand exactly what you're saying <laughs> uh, because of the fact that the gold contract moves around so much that if you're actually not in the stocks. You can look at them and say, oh, they haven't moved. Well, they've moved dramatically and in a, in a monster way. And, um, you know, and that's right across the board except for uh, Newmont. Let's see. And these, these, it's pretty amazing. And the thing – and this goes right back to the very beginning when I first started the gold market too. It was like they were buying Newmont. It's like Newmont wasn't moving. Gold Corp was moving. Glamis was moving. You know, if you want stocks that are moving, folks, go check out the gold report. You can do it 30 days free. Okay, so money back guarantee. You can see Newmont. Newmont's been a dog. It's finally it's it's off. You know, it's up a buck twenty six today. We'll see whether it can hold. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, Barrick. Uh, they bought Wrangell. Wrangell was was for a long period of time the strongest gold stock in the marketplace. Okay, um, and you know we'll see whether Barrick. Bottom today. Barrick's been a mess too. Barrick is back to you know uh, we hit 1783 today and was trading 1745. You know, September 29th, and you can see when I brought those other stocks up, those other stocks are up 50 percent versus uh, Barrick or Newmont being the exact same price. So it depends where you're going inside the marketplace. That's what it is. My take on the the metals market. On anything that has to do with a hard asset, folks, okay, and this is going to be, you know, a steady, long-term deal, it's going to go up because guess what? What you want to do is trust yourself, and are you paying higher prices for everything you look at? And if you're paying higher prices for everything you look at and everything you do, the bottom line is that gold's going to go with it. That's, that's how it works, you know, because the rest of – the fiat money is that. They can print it as much as they want. And I know you've been hearing this forever. That gold bugs say it's going to $5,000. I don't, I, I don't see it going there. But I just want to understand fundamentally how it goes is that it still takes, okay, a good gold mine. So check this out, folks. A good gold mine that is, takes 10 tons of ore, 10 tons of rock to make one ounce of gold. 
So you can kind of figure that out for yourself. You say, I say, okay, is that a value or is it not a value? My take, it's a value. <laughs> My take, it's going to be there, um, and we'll see how it shakes out, man. But that's 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 how it seems to me that uh, we're going to see it, and we're going to see it uh, in in a big way. So. Uh, let's go take a look at U.S. Steel. I, some of the Tigers saying U.S. Steel's moving out here. This is going to be good, man. See, the U.S. Steel's up 16. Because what should happen also is that uh, a company like U.S. Steel should be making money. Um, what we're going to see, you know, this is not going to slow down the aspect of building. And what it is going to do is that they're going to be able to charge more money for the exact same product. And what you, what you, this is what ends up happening also at the beginning. The, the companies themselves, well, actually, let's go to Deer. So Deer is going to be a great example because what Deer was talking about, okay, is that their, their employees went on strike. The bottom line, they're hemming and hollering. They don't want to give the people what they should get, okay? And guess what? Deer is going to be making more money than they've ever been making. And the Deer's, so look at this. Five years ago, Deer took in $25.9 You know what they're going to take in this year, folks? $47.8 billion, okay? So you have a high-end industrial, uh, industrial production that has doubled its revenue in five years. I mean, if that's, that is a, that's a growth stock extraordinaire, and you wouldn't think that it's a growth stock, but well, it is, okay? So that's... Also, inside of the aspect of the hard asset. That's what it comes down to. Uh, Microsoft. Let's go to Microsoft because this is, there's no doubt. You, know, you had Nadella selling one half of his, his position. Microsoft finally got hit. It's down nine bucks today. Uh, coming back to a breakout area. The volume's light. So, bottom, you know, bottom line, will probably fill this gap at uh, 312. We're three at uh, 319 now. And just with this, I want to go to Tesla because our man uh, Jeff from New York, he gave me that heads up and there's no doubt. You get so it's a bit, you know what's so bizarre about this market, folks, is that you have Nadella selling. You have Tesla, two CEOs that are bright beyond belief. They're selling and the market had not paid attention to it. OK, you know, that's about as. That's about as wild as you can get, meaning that that's the kind of froth that we got or the kind of thinking that people think you can just buy anything, okay? Uh, there's a question in the den about why why is the GDX not following the miners? And I try to explain that. And, and the explanation is that Newmont and... Rank, I mean, Newmont and Barrick Gold, the two largest weightings of the GDX. And they're, you know, you, you got to wrap your head around this, folks, okay? Because it's, it's not, it's, it's the, they, it's 25% of the GDX, two stocks, you know? So, I don't know. It's going to be a wild one seeing this whole thing shake out. Let's go into the silver market and see what we got with silver. Because if silver catches a bid, we're really going to get some action out here. Um, silver right now, we're up 21 cents. And at least we rejected lower price out here today. So the last swing low in silver is 21.46. We had 22.03 today. We'll see if we get any juice, you know. Uh, then Tesla. We go over to Tesla. You go to Elon. Elon just sold more too, folks. Okay. He's not, my take, he's not going to stop selling, you know. It was a big deal today in the journal. Or yesterday in the journal that, okay, he's selling more. He's going to keep selling, man. I mean, are you kidding me that you're selling? He was selling at 1200 1100 um, And in Tesla's case, you're paying $164 for $1 of earning. Like, would you do that with anyone else? I don't think so. <laughs> and if we took the growth aspect, let me just see the growth aspect. Let me see this. Come on, give me that. Okay, so yeah, he's not growing at 164 percent. He's growing at 12 percent a year in the United States. He's growing at 16 percent across the world, and he's growing at uh, 16 percent in China. Well, he's growing at 16 percent. You're still paying 164 dollars for one dollar earnings. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, right now down 110. You get the NASDAQ off 352. S&Ps are off 51. This is nice. I mean, uh, bottom line, you get a little selling coming into the close out here. So if we take a look at the uh, S&Ps first, the uh, the ND, uh, let's see, the S&P hit a low today out here at 44.92, and you're at 45.25. Uh, so uh, you get 32 points up. And you know, what we're going to see out here, folks, is that 20 or 30 points inside the S&P is going to be a, on a blurb. Uh, and that's going to stay like this for quite some time. When it, we talked about this yesterday. Once you get into volatility, folks, uh, it doesn't come out of the market for two or three months. That's just kind of how it goes. And so we're looking at these 10-minute bars when I was on, folks. Look at this. So you have pops inside of the S&P of 20 points at a pop. <laughs> at uh, 20 past three, you went up 20 points. Then we went up another 10 points. And then, so check this out. Then you went from 45.27 down to 45.01 in two minutes. <laughs> and then guess what? You popped all the way back up to 45.29. So we just went from 01. Yeah, you just went up 28 points in literally four minutes. Pretty cool. The NQs, they're, they're, the NQs aren't coming back as much as the S&P, which is kind of intriguing, actually. Uh, but what you have with the NQs, you still, you know, you get the with the S&P going 
20 points in a blur up the end the nq should have been up another couple hundred it, it wasn't it was still down a 312 points out here and that's going to be because of uh let's go inside of the ndx 100 and you're going to see this uh yeah i get marvel technology that's a good pit that's up 16 and a half percent you got uh walgreens boots up uh four percent taken away from it monster move here DocuSign is down 42 percent man oh man and then you get trip.com off 12 percent pretty wild always remember folks the bear can claw your heart out the bull can run you over and thank god it's always another day health happiness and prosperity have a great weekend folks have a safe weekend come back and visit tommy monday morning kicks us off nine o'clock great show Bam! look at him folks Building